And welcome back, folks. Now we're roughly back to where I got to before. Mother fudge. Sit down. What the fudge? What the... You mother funk machine. Hello, big boy. Goodbye, big boy. Lots of armor shards, that's exactly what we want. Sit down. Hmm, lost your head, dude. Bit of a worrying thing, and that we're already low on shotgun shells. Audio log for Dr. Cassian, currently stationed at Mars City. I have just left the weekly status meeting here in medical. The most prominent topic was the vast number of psychological issues we are seeing as of late. The number of reports indicates that 10% of the overall base personnel have shown symptoms. As many people will not come in for this type of thing, the number of affected personnel could truly be in the 30 to 40% range. It has even manifested itself here in medical. I have several nurses and a couple of good doctors out for related reasons. I'm going to formally request two additional psychiatrists on the next shuttle from Earth. The two we have are being overworked, and the content of their sessions with patients is starting to affect them as well. Dr. Casey and out. Hmm. What about patient attack? Dr. Mark Casey and at 1547, patient Jonathan Wills was admitted after complaining of insomnia and nausea. According to the nurse, Mr. Wills was calm and exhibited no signs of disorder when he was brought to exam room 5. However, by the time I reached him at 10 after 4, his personality had changed dramatically. When I entered the room, Mr. Wills lunged at me with a scalpel he apparently stole from a supply drawer. With the assistance of an orderly, we managed to subdue and sedate him without injury. Mr. Wills was heavily medicated and could not be diagnosed, but in the 20 minutes he was left unattended, he managed to carve three symbols in his arm and cut his own tongue into two halves. I, I can only guess at the cause of his problems. I hope that additional psychiatrists arrive soon. In the meantime, in response to this assault, all medical supplies and armaments will be locked in a secure hospital cabinet with the code 347. Thank you very much, sir. Out. Why would a hospital have shells, though? It does make you wonder what was actually going on at this hospital. Okay. Health dispenser. Don't really need that at the moment. Uh, do you mind, Mr. Zom? Well, you're fast. I'm not wasting good ammo. Oh, fudge. Sit down. Now we came from that way, didn't we? God, what a mess, man. Still not absolutely great at the moment by switching between weapons, but I'm getting there. Uh, excuse me, Dar. Don't do that. 
Bill Tyson, what's he got to say? Audio report confirming new troop deployments for the Mars City Marine Facility, October 30th, 2145. The new troops will be arriving within a few days. I've started a series of training exercises focusing on close quarters small weapons combat, as well as instituting mandatory refresher courses on all munitions and weapons in our armory. In response to the large number of security breaches and general feelings of ill will around the base, I've doubled security details, placing two Marines at each checkpoint. This additional presence should help calm things down. I expect that the incoming Marines are not quite as green as the last deployment. They've turned out okay, but some combat experience will go a long way right now. Sergeant Tyson, out. Well, I assure you, sir, I have got plenty of combat experience. Video link up requested. Video link up requested. Video link connection established. Marine. I can't believe you're still alive. I'm unable to return to Mars City. All passages out of the Delta complex have been blocked. I'm setting up a command post here. I can monitor status reports of the entire base from Delta Central Authority and communicate with other Marine teams. It's your mission to link up with Bravo team and get that transmission sent. Head toward Alpha Labs. It's the fastest way to find them. I'll update your PDA security clearance from here. Good job. And good luck, Marine. Cheers, boss. Anything else to steal? So we've got to go to Alpha Labs and join up with Bravo Team. Hopefully it's not the Stars Bravo Team, because they usually get butchered. Don't shoot me, scumbag. Yeah, it's locked. Yeah, do we need... What, could we have a code for that somewhere? Audio report on troop morale. Morale here is beginning to drop. It's nothing to worry about yet since I keep my marines sharp and ready to go. But events at the base are wearing on the troops. There have been a lot of things happening here on the base. I believe the UAC experiments being performed here must be the cause. Out here, they could be experimenting on God knows what. There are quite a few people missing. And no Marines, of course. It's the civilian population I am referring to. Bottom line, whatever it is they have going on here has my men on a razor's edge. At this point, there is no cause for alarm, but I am requesting we rotate squads every 90 days instead of every 180. I will continue to report as the situation develops. It is good we have the new Marines en route. Fresh faces will help. Sergeant Tyson, out. So Tyson was obviously trying to do his best to defend the base, but... Hmm. He couldn't really succeed about what he was up against. Oh yeah, shotgun round should blooming kill them stupid humans. Been that way. We've been this way, but we can't get through these doors. So then we've got to head towards Alpha Labs. Now, are there any signposts that point to Alpha Labs? Oh, Alpha Labs! We've been all through this bit. That's something... Ah, now, could there be a... Hold on. Is that a clue? No. It has to go back through the infirmary, perhaps. We haven't got a map, have we? Don't. 
You see, why do you make funny noises, game? That's just not really on when I'm scared enough as it is. Oh, Alpha Labs, oh, Alpha Labs. Where are you, Alpha Labs? Ah, there you are. Oh. God, I was wasting some serious ammo there. I'm going to stick to this blooming machine gun, you know. Because the amount of ammo you get for it is unreal. Now look, sir. I heard something then. Sit down. Now don't be like that, sneaking up on me. I mean, it's not them things I'm particularly, like, scared of, it's just the blooming imps. Are you gonna come to life, sir? No, you're not. Good. I always appreciate it when zombies don't come to life. Stay frosty. What the hell? Sit. Wait, have I just... Oh, I'm such an idiot, man. I've just gone back on myself. Foolish idiot. Conference room. I think we've searched this one before. We've been there. Now we're really going back on ourselves here. You know, I'm not very good at navigating this game, am I? What if we have to go back to the monorail station? Don't jump out like that. Oh god, look at the mess, man. Oh, look at you. Even got a flashlight. Marine, if you run across any operational sentry bots, use them. Those guys pack a lot of firepower. You got it. Oh, hey, someone bloody trashed the machine. How dare they? The UAC is here to help you. Psychological services are free and confidential. After this bloody place, I'm gonna need it. me! Mother funk machine! Damn you, mirror! Holy crud, that was scary. 
Mm, a bit of health. Nice! Someone's arm down the toilet. Very nice. And a poo. A poo. Don't really know what to say to that. Yes, uh, so which way did we we came from that way, so it must be this way. Gonna say you're not using that shotgun on me at close range, Sonny Jim. Hey, cool! Sentry bot! You gonna do my work for me, mate? No, don't go over there. I'm not going to go with him just yet. Let's have a little explorer first. Hello, big boy. <laughs> Three hits and you're down. Now, this is actually right back at the start, isn't it? I know, just chill, sentry bot. We're only exploring. Marine, you gotta get to Bravo team quickly. They need all the firepower they can get. Sending that transmission is critical to our survival. Oh, chill. We'll still survive. On the necroscope, for God's sake. You wait over there. Shells don't mind if I do. Look, will you shush, dude? I'm coming. Chill, for the millionth time, I'm right behind you, little robot. I suppose I should actually let this guy do all the killing, because then I kind of get all the ammo. Might be an idea, actually. God, them... Them sentry bots are blooming strong. Well played, dude. Come on, sentry bot. Oh, great, then you shut down. Thanks. Thanks. Only one way to go. God, perfect fudging place for an ambush, this. Frosty. Duncan Matthews. What have you got for me? Oh, I see. I've just realised, folks, each one of these actual things has a... Oh, I see now. I get it. Each of these has its emails on it. I understand it a bit better now. I've got it. I've got it. This is Mark Stanton, manifest controller currently stationed at Mars City. We've heard that one. This is the audio log of maintenance technician Adam Bernache, dated November 10th, 2140. Which is the one we just picked up. This is Grant Baston, your environmental services supervisor. The date is October 19th. I've been hearing an alarming number of reports on some, uh, unexplainable things. I can't even remember now. Was it Duncan Matthews? Yes, it was. Alright, he's just got emails. Okay, what's he got?
Ray Ger Gerhard, he left. We understand da 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 da. He was a little bit worried about what was going on here. As, well, I suppose everybody would be, really. I assume we go this way. So we're off to administration. you now, Doctor, the UAC is taking over this operation. Operation? Is that what you're calling it? The situation is out of control. It's not out of control, Swan. You are. I'll manage this, and you and your flunky will be taking control of nothing. Do you understand? Yes, Petruger. I think I do understand. Okay, plan B. Ooh. Something's gonna kick up. Welcome to the young <laughs> Ah, Alpha Labs. Whoa, don't you do that. Look at the blood, man! Nice try, old boy. God, bloody burn through this ammo's weapon. Uh, this ammo's weapon? What am I talking about? You burn through ammunition with this weapon. Now look, don't sneak out of the darkness. Cause I'll just kill you with my torch. Deal? And then destroy your body. God, that is one hell of a powerful torch! Alan Dorweiler. What have you got to say, mate? No audio logs, emails, ornaments in the cabinet. So we've got a code for that, 586. www.martianbuddy.com Sounds like a website everyone should be using. Not really sure what we just downloaded there. We shall watch it, of course. Alpha Labs. Welcome to the Alpha Labs. Formerly designated Phase 1 by the Union Aerospace Offworld Research Division, the Alpha Labs began construction on October 29, 2095, and became fully operational July 17, 2130. Originally created as the prime science and research facility, Alpha Labs are responsible for the development of leading-edge technology, such as the Elemental Phase Deconstructor, Hydrocon, and molecular fuel storage compressor, all presently being utilized right here in the Alpha Labs. 
These endeavors have allowed for much needed expansion into the UAC's current leading research facility, Delta Labs, where Union Aerospace is opening all new opportunities in research and development. With continued investment and hard work, the Union Aerospace Corporation strives for excellence and is committed to building a better tomorrow. Mm, sounds fishy to me, that. Authorized personnel on file, Dr. Dr. Director William Banks and 63 Science Team. In case we can't go that way. I what was that code that I had as well? Was it 586? Yeah, 586. Let's try it. It might help if I actually recognise what a 6 was. Ooh, grenades! That's a new weapon. Oh, you fustic. <laughs> Sit down. I see you over there, Mr. Imp. I see you up there as well, you fat blob. I never trust just going straight ahead in this game. I constantly think I'm going to be followed. Don't stop, buddy. There's nothing you can do for me. They're all gone. <coughs> Surprised us. They just came out of nowhere. Hold on, Wes. There's still a few squads operating. But they're all cut off from each other. Try to find them. You got it, Wes. Rest easy, dude. Alright, I still... Denied. Locate the PDA of William Banks for Alpha Lab's clearance. William... Banks. I'm trying to get through there. Oh, I can get through. Cool. Grenades, all good. Now don't make noises like that. It's not funny and it's not clever. Huh, so there's actually any point coming through into this bit. Apart from those few items, I don't think there was. Okay, well, if we go about the way we came, folks... Uh... Hello! Sit down! Been in that room. Don't do that. I don't want to go there, do I? 
Aerospace Off-World Research Division. The Alpha Labs began construction on October 29, 2095, and became fully operational July 17, 2130. I'm not fussed, dude. I'm fighting aliens in here. Oh, fudge me. I don't think so. Oh, you lamers. Nice try. Ow. Ow. Very satisfying the way those marines die. I oh, know this is where that dude was giving that talk, wasn't it? Elliot Swan, was it? Now look, was there any need to really sneak up on me like that? Really, was there? Oh, they're microscopes, aren't they? Never mind. 